It's Mr. Burley at the York Catholic District School Board. This is the first tutorial in this series where we're going to design this cute little beach house here. That's the front front elevation. And of course, this is the top view or the floor layout. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go new drawing and we're gonna name it um, Should have glasses on, so I can't see. Two, tutorial one. I called it tutorial one or tutorial A, both because it's the new series um, for the floor layout. Now down here we got metric. I want to switch this to imperial. We're going to be using imperial inches and feet. Click open. Now once it opens, it's not set completely. So. Once this is open, we're in our modeling space. I want to go down here, click this little arrow key, come down to settings here. And in the settings, we're going to change the units from decimal and we're going to drop it down to architectural feet and inches. And we can leave the precision there is fine for our purposes. So we're going to click OK. Now, um, first thing I want to do is I want it. So I've set that up now. I want to draw something. I want to draw the size. Now, if you look at the size, we'll see here it's 24 inches, sorry, 24 feet by 20 feet. And you can see here, now if you look here, you see 24, you see the little line above it there, that means feet. And zero, and then you see the two dashes here, that is inches. Okay, so we have to actually type it like that in AutoCAD, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to create, you can do it different ways. You can take a line tool and you can draw it out with the line. So you can come up here like this and go uh, click anywhere you want and start walking up this way. And you're going to say the first line is, what was it again? It's 20 feet in that direction. So 20 and you want to do feet. So right beside the enter key, you can see that you got the colon like that, 20 feet tab. And we're going to leave it at 90 degrees. Enter. So now what we've got, Pull in, we've got a line 20 feet long and at 90 degrees. And let's clarify or verify, I use a better term, annotate. Let's check the size of that out. You can see it's 20 feet, 20, and you can see the feet beside it. Perfect. So now we're going to come down here. We're going to go back to the draw screen and we're going to click this guy here and we're going to come over here and we're going to go this way. And you could continue around like this. You could go, okay, this is 24 feet. Um, tab 90 degrees because it's 90 degrees again right sorry it's not 90 degrees what am i talking about zero coming this way you can see it should be zero now so it's 24 feet tab zero enter and you can continue down that way and then you can do it that direction or you can do this you can make it faster you can click this and delete these ones here so i could continue all the way around or i could just go here and create a box go back to the draw screen box uh click anywhere here come up this way and now it automatically sets everything to 90 which makes it easier for you and i accidentally clicked the button to say it and position it so come up here without touching anything else the top one you can see the box is 27 foot well what we're going to do is we're going to change that to 24 right wasn't that right 24, 24 feet, and then I'm going to put zero inches, tab, and down there we're going to put 20 feet, enter, and now we have a box the right size. Now we can go back here and verify that that is the case, so we can click here, 24, yes, width, 20, yes, width, that's the verify tool here, nice and quick. Go back to the draw screen, or actually modify screen, and if you look at the drawing, you'll see that the walls are thicker. The interior walls are thinner. The exterior walls are thicker. I want to make my exterior walls around six inches thick. That's by the time you get your two by fours and your insulation in between the two by fours and then you get your drywall on it and you get your vapor barrier on the outside. You have, of course, the bricks of the facade. It's roughly six inches thick. So we're going to go in there. We're going to make this wall six inches thick. We're going to offset it inbound because the outside of the house, you can see the dimensions for the work from the outside of the house. So we're going to offset from the inside. So we're going to click the offset tool here. We're going to click the what we want to offset and we can walk in and click anywhere, but I want to make it six and you got to hold the shift key down and right beside the button, you're going to hit the colon or the uh, thing inches like that. Enter. 
And now we've got our inside wall. So that means that this is 24 feet here. And if that means if this is six and this is six, that means that should be 23 feet on the inside. This is where it gets kind of funny when you're measuring floor layouts. Sometimes the, the sales company will say, oh, this is a 1500 square foot house, but that's on the outside. So there's different ways. The, the actual floor is the, what you're worrying about here. Okay, so now we got that. Now the next thing is I want to start, I want to cut it for a door at the front here. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go back to the draw screen. Now it may or not, and I click the line tool and it may or may not grab the center. It's not grabbing the center. Why is it not grabbing the center? Because I haven't got midpoint selected. Select midpoint. Draw a line, just a construction line. See it grabs the middle perfectly like that. Boom. I want to go up here. Any distance is fine. Two feet, two feet, tab, 90 degrees. And hit the escape key and I'm just going to use this right here as a as a guide as a construction line we can delete this later now one of the things I want to back up one of the things I just did that I should have showed you and you guys can do this and this is a great way to practice let's delete it all this and let's go over here I should have said this in the first place we're gonna go pro layers create new layer and we're gonna say outer wall now all you do when I just did there, I'm going to go back. It's actually a good learning experience anyways. We haven't drawn very much. I could shift it to another layer, but I want to show you this way instead. I want to delete everything. Just highlight it like that. Hit the delete key and done. Create a new layer. And in that new layer, we're going to call it outer walls. Change colors if you want. I'm going to leave mine white for this time. Now we have to make the outer walls. We have to make it active currently and you can see it is so if i click here i'm drawing on that particular la layer if i click here i'm drawing on that layer i want to click on the outer walls layer let's go back and really quickly draw that back in again it was pretty fast anyways 20 feet tab by no nope, it wasn't it wasn't it was 24 feet lots of mistakes here kids 24 feet feet tab 20 feet enter still not right really messing this up now you guys aren't judging me though because you're good kids 24 feet tab 20 feet they didn't do it feet tab there we have it now we're going to offset it so we're going to go modify offset click on this little guy here offset inbound six inches done Okay, so now we're drawing on the outer walls, which is good. Okay, so now we're going to start, we're going to cut, go back. We're going to go back into the draw screen, click on this little guy here. It should lock to the center because I got my O snap turned on for midpoint. Now, brings me to another point. Very often you go in and toggle these on and off, depending on where you, what you want to do. If you're, if you're trying to draw in here and it keeps jumping to the midpoint, jumping to the midpoint, you wouldn't toggle it off so it doesn't do that. Now, what I want to do is I want to open the, sec the area for the door. The door is three foot four inches. And I'll get into why it's three foot four inches, not three foot later on, basically because we have a door jam on either side. And we're going to draw in a block later on, on the blocks layer. Hopefully I can figure that out in this particular software. And we can just draw one door and just keep bringing it in whenever we need a door. But for right now, we're going to cut out for that door. So three foot four inches. So if that's the case, three foot four inches, we have to go halfway. So we're going to go in here, modify. We're going to use the offset tool. And half of three feet is 1.5 inches, 1.1 1 .1 foot 5 inches, right? Half of three feet. And then half of four feet, 1.54 is 1.8. So we're going to go offset command here. out this way here we're going to go three half of three feet uh, yeah i can actually do it in here too i'm pretty sure you can just type it right in but i'm going to go one foot eight inches All right one foot eight inches i'm just going to quickly now so 
I offset that side. Now we're going to offset the other side here. So we're going to go this way. Same thing. Three foot four inches. Half of three foot four inches is one foot six inches. One point eight inches. So one foot eight inches. Enter. Bang. So now I've got to cut out for the door. I got to go in here and get rid of all this stuff. So we're going to come in here to our annotate modify trim here. So there's two different things: trim, extend, and trim. Trim it off. We're going to trim off. We're going to trim off this. And this, and this, and this. Oh, nope, not that one. Trim off this. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Jumping over way over there. Trim, trim, trim that, trim that, trim that, trim that. I don't know why it's trimming that whole thing off. I find some things on the on the web version not awesome. You know what? Let me try this. Let me try deleting this that guy here and then try trimming that off. No, trim takes the whole thing. No worries. Trim it off completely. Just go back here, get a line tool, grab on the end of that, and grab on the end of that. If yours doesn't work, if that happens to you, then fine. So that's the door. It's cut out for the door. Later on, we're going to have the little line here with the swing on it so you can see that it's an actual door. Now, I want to come over here now and I want to cut it for the glazing. So glazing is glass. In the architectural world, they call it glazing. They don't call it glass. And so if you look here, there's no dimensions. So we're going to do, we're going to do, take some liberties here. This is three foot here wide. This and this kind of look around the same size. Now I could print this out. I could take a scale and I could do some ratio proportion math and figure this out exactly. If you're fussy like that, and you want to do that, that's fine. Say this is, uh, I don't know, half inch, 0.5. How would you do that? 0.5 inches. Well, is on the 0.5 inches on the DWG, so on the drawing, DWG uh, equals, and you measure it, so that's actually measured, would actually be three feet uh, here. So you can say it would be feet. And then you can say, okay, and then you could take and measure this one here. And you could put your X down here, and you could measure that and say it was, I don't know, 0.375. And then you could solve for X, right? X equals this times this divided by that. That's the way they do what you do. You do it ratio, ratio it like that. I'm just going to take some liberties. I'm going to say this is three feet here. That looks three feet to me as well. The window here or the glazing we just referred to it as, it looks to me like it's probably almost six feet wide. Pretty close, maybe slightly less. Makes it easier for us. Let's just do it three. So let's assume that's three feet from there to there. And from here over to here is, is six feet. So let's draw it in like that. So if we come into here, and we're going to use the offset tool again. You find it in AutoCAD, offset's a real handy tool. I use it constantly. There's different people as they start learning and developing skills on their AutoCAD or Fusion 360 or Pro Engineer or whatever, find their own little ways of doing things that they find is the fastest. So you can play around. You don't necessarily have to do exactly like I'm doing. You can draw a line, follow along here and draw the line down and follow along here and draw it down in different ways like I should in my previous videos. But I'm going to use the offset. Offset command, click here. I'm going to walk this way. And I'm going to say it's three feet. Make sure you put the feet symbol. Enter. Okay. Now I'm going to do it again. Three feet. Enter. So I'm going to delete that in a little in a bit. I'm drawing in the window now. So I'm going to say the window is. You know what? I'm going to make it slightly smaller. I'm going to make it. Let's see where we go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take off the snap command for a second, just so it doesn't jump anywhere. I want to see. That's two feet there, three feet. Yeah, it looks more like about three feet, right? I think that's probably better. So I'm going to offset. Three feet, enter. Now, for some reason, when I drew that up, it didn't work properly, but no worries. Just come down here to the uh, modify. Trim extend. We're going to trim this down to that line. And we're going to trim this one in a second. We'll trim it off. Trim this one down. Yours might not have done that. Now we're going to come back in here. I'm going to trim off that little guy there. And I'm going to trim off this little guy right here. Like so. Now, if you look at the window the glazing, you'll see here, there's a bar here, a bar here, a bar here. And then you can see if you zoomed right in, let me pull it up and see if you can See, there's a line going across this way. So we're going to make them look somewhat realistic, these windows. Um, 
So we're going to come back in here and I'm going to do the offset command by two inches. I'm going to click here, two inches. I'm going to offset this guy outboard here. I'm going to click him. Try that again. Hit the escape key, something's on. If you can't get AutoCAD, and this is true in the real version too, if you can't get it to do something, sometimes it's because you're stuck in a command. So just click offset, try it one more time. And I'm going to come out bound this way, two inches. This side, two inches. And then in here, I'm going to do the same thing. Click here, and I'm going to go. Now, this is this was what was causing me a bit of an issue earlier today. I tried to offset this, and it offsets the whole thing, and I wasn't able to, to stop it from doing that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come in here. You see what I did, what I mean there? Click here, and I go to offset this line. It offsets the whole entire thing. I just want to offset the line itself. So to fix that up, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to turn my O-snap back on again. I'm going to draw a line midpoint from there to there. So that's the center. Hit the escape key. Now I'm going to go back into the modify screen, uh, offset. I'm going to offset this guy here. Outboard, two inches. No, it's two inches total, so it's outboard half, half of that. Half of that would be one inch. So I want the thickness to be two inches. So we're going to go click this little guy here, and we're going to go one inch out. And then we're going to click that person again, and one inch out. Done. And now I don't need this middle line again, so just click the middle line and delete it. Done. And now what I want to do is if you look back at the drawing, we'll finish up here. You'll see there's one in the center as well. So let's do that. Let's draw that one in. How do I do that? Oh, snap is on. Uh, draw screen. Line tool. You can see it's grabbing the center. That's perfect. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to grab the center of that one as well. Now I got the center done up. I'm going to come in here. I should have gone further with that. I want it to go all the way out. So I can just go back here and I can trim extend this to there, oh, to there, and I can trim extend it to there. Good. All the way down. Offset it now. Now I'm going to offset this one one inch, half of, or half of two, right? And I'm going to do the other side as well over this way. One inch, enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a bit. I don't need this middle line, so I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to delete this. I'm going to trim this and this as well. So I come in here, I'm going to trim off that and that. And now you can see my glazing looks realistic, right? There's my door. I'm going to go back. I'm going to delete this because I didn't need that line. It was just a construction line. But now you can see I've got my front door. i got my glazing. Now you as a student, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to f finish up. So if you look here, you'll see there's a glazing here, roughly the same size. You can position it where you think it should go. There's another glazing, roughly the same size as that one. You can see the windows, they look to be all the same size. This is the bar we just put in right here to make it look realistic, right? And then, so what you can do, and this of course is just the main floor, so it's not showing you these. And then you can put in, there's a small glazing here in the bedroom, which looks to be about half the size of these ones here. So you can put that glazing in here. Same with this bedroom over here, about half the size. So if this is six feet or whatever size we made that, divide it by two. Or maybe you want to put a three-foot window in here or a three-foot window in there. This one here is just a little vent for the bathroom window. They're typically much smaller. So you can see, you can estimate the size of that one. So if this is, say, if, that, if you made that one three feet, then make this one one and a half feet. So, or, or do whatever you think that, whatever looks good to you. You take a look at this drawing here and you can see roughly the size. So that's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to finish up that particular thing. Um, incidentally, I, want to, I did want to mention, I said bathroom here. They typically call these WCs. If you're looking on a drawing that's an architectural drawing, you'll see WC. Those of you who have been to England or Ireland, Scotland and, and such, you'll know what that means, water closet. But for whatever reason, in the architectural world, they rarely refer to these as bathrooms. You'll see WC, water closet, right? Just like when, instead of windows, they call it glazing. So you can probably get a good idea to get used to that terminology. So what I'd like you to do is finish this up. Before we start the next video, I'd like you to come back. I'd like you to have all the windows drawn all the way around, and then we'll come back and we'll start to do some interior walls and, so, and, and finish up with that.